Hey yo, welcome back everybody to another Terraria video. Today, we're checking out a really, really cool mod that I saw called the Weapons of Mass Decoration mod. Now, this mod, if you can't tell, adds in Weapons of Mass Decoration, meaning that we're about to paint a good giant chunk of this whole entire world. So let's hop into it. So as you can see, we got a bunch of stuff here. We got Paint Dynamite paints blocks and walls the painting method is determined by the painting tool in your inventory 50 percent chance to not consume paint for each block slash wall covered same thing with the bombs same thing with the bullets same thing with the arrows same thing with the throwing paint brushes boomerangs there's a paint staff and then there's even an accessory where paint won't be consumed on use let's go ahead let's equip that accessory but yeah as you can tell this mod is made to cause some damage and destroy things in another way not just by blowing stuff up but by coloring everything so before before we hop into just painting everything and destroying everything let's go ahead let's take a look at some of the recipes starting with the palette you need 999 deep rainbow paint and some pearl wood how do you even get rainbow paint oh okay i mean that's not that hard to get it does have to be deep paint though but yeah most of the recipes as you can see here just require a bunch of paint and a dye vat and let's see some of the weapons paint boomerang okay paint multi-tool which is actually really cool the paint staff and then we got the obviously specter version got some gradients and stuff like that so a lot of this stuff is easily craftable but i'm assuming most of this other stuff since we can't craft it it's buyable from npcs so i'm assuming these three npcs are gonna be the main ones yep throwing paintbrush paint arrow this guy probably sells the paint bullet yep or paint ball you sell the paint bombs so yeah simple three npcs that's everything thing right that's all this stuff i think it is easy to get your hands on some of these items all right so there's two more things that i want to show there's a grayscale paint and then there is paint solution which is another way to just paint everything but let's get our hands on our first quote-unquote ammo type here deep rainbow paint is a material for something what do you think is a material for oh duh I, okay i knew that yeah let's take that and we're just gonna take a paint bomb all right and we're just gonna just see what it does plain and simple beautiful but yeah as you can see it does what it says weapons of mass decoration let's throw a dynamite stick interesting so the paint bomb this one bounced a couple times before it exploded the dynamite just kind of sits there and it cycles through the paint colors this is still really really cool let's try out some of the throwing weapons okay this is amazing i love this mod so much <laughs> All right, we got some weapons here to shoot the uh, ammo types, the paint arrows and the paint balls. Let's go ahead, let's see. Okay, so they got a really small radius for this one for the paint balls, which honestly is expected. And let us see the repeater or the arrows. Okay, the arrows got a lot bigger radius, as you can see. And the cool thing is that these aren't only just, you know, weapons of mass decoration. They're actually weapons, too. You could use the arrows. You could use the throwing knives. You could use the boomerangs. Speak about the boomerangs beautiful you could stack up to three of them and just paint everything i love it you know the, hit the little impact oh look I forgot, we can color this bridge too oh we can color all of this what else haven't i done the paint staff the mage weapon okay does it just go through walls no it doesn't but it does go through everything else which is really really cool and i really really like this mod so let's go ahead let's try the clantaminator with the paint solution oh my god oh my this is crazy this is so cool <laughs> we got the uh the boomstick contaminator here from the solutions mod too so we do it in you know spread shots we got pistol here too doing a little baby shots but this this mod is just amazing it's so creative and i love it I just want to paint the whole entire world, but I don't think I can do that because we're going to be in this world for a long time, and I don't know if I can stand the colors looking like this. I'm trying to think of some fast shooting weapons, you know, that keep the bullet type the same. We got here the shredder. This keeps the bullets the same if you right click. When's if we, let's try out a different color, all right? How about that? You know, we've done rainbow enough. Let's try out a different color. Let's do like a radiant or a gradient one. Here we go. Deep violet gradient. What does that look like? Does it change colors? no so it seems like the gradient paints all they do is just like you know shuffle between the three four colors in the gradient doesn't actually make the blocks like a single gradient block but it's all good we still got the gray scale which if you want to make everything look boring is the perfect weapon right here this is the perfect color perfect weapon the shredder to spread it all <laughs> it looks nasty but i think the rainbow paint for sure is the best paint for sure bro what are some fast firing weapons let me 
I'm trying to think right now. You guys probably know in the comments. Let me think. I figured it out. P90. P90 shoots regular bullets, right? Oh, hell yeah. This is how you do it. Oh, there's like no spread at all, though. There's no spread. What the fuck? It just covers the surface. It's all good. It still looks really cool. I came up with a great idea. Daedalus Stormbow. I know it's pronounced Daedalus. All right, you don't have to leave a comment about it. I just like saying Daedalus. It sounds cooler. Beautiful. Literally, that's what that's one word I can describe this mod. It's just beautiful. I don't want to destroy the whole entire area, though. I guess we're not destroying it. We're making it look pretty more beautiful than it was before. I don't know. It looks kind of ugly, if we're being honest, but it's still cool at the same time. But yeah, I don't know what else I could do with this mod. What are some other things I could do? I think my favorite weapon, though, is the throwing paintbrush. I just like how the paint just starts flying everywhere. You see this? When it impacts the floor, there's just like blobs of paint. Paint? Blobs what there's just blobs of paint that fly everywhere that's really really cool all right so i got more weapons to test out here for uh the bullets this is actually a really good weapon books bullet hell from uh the juice mod because it shoots not only regular bullets but you right click and it shoots arrows too <laughs> so you should do both of this it's actually pretty good we also have the chain gun vanilla terraria it's okay it's the chain gun what, what do you expect me to say and then the hellabuck cannon now the hellabuck cannon is really weird it shoots out giant chunks that's about it like look at that look what it shoots out and then look what it happens when it hits something All right, bro that don't that don't seem right so we're gonna try out a couple of the gradients here because i just want to see what they look like in full effect so let me get you know, we'll try a couple of things actually try the flame paint let's try the violet yellow let's try deep flame paint let's just see i got some uh, marble up here and i got the lighting turned up to 100 percent so we can see all of it boom Okay, it's uh, interesting to see the least. It definitely is a gradient, but like, I don't know. Clicking once, I'd expect it to be just like, how the fuck did I end up over here? Pretty much what I'm trying to say, it's not the most beautiful gradient. I mean, it is gradient. It's just not what I expected. Let's move on. Let's try this one. W was this even? Yeah, that was gradient. Okay, you just can barely see that because it's not deep colored. What about blue? <laughs> also could barely see that. It seems like if it's not deep paint, you're not going to see it. Okay, it's not bad. It's just the gradient kind of works really weird. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how hard it is to add in custom paints, but if like a mod could add in custom paints, that'd be pretty cool. Make like each block glow its own gradient color instead of, you know, being gradient throughout a bunch of blocks. All right, so we're going to get very destructive in a second here to kind of end off the episode. But first, I read on the uh, mod forum page that the Xeno Popper is actually a pretty cool weapon. It is pretty cool. It's just that bullets only hit the surface, so it's not anything too crazy. But yeah, let me go ahead. Let's turn the lighting off. And let's take the contaminator here. Deep rainbow paint, paint solution, and then we're going to take things from the solutions mod. All these accessories, quadruple spray distance, but consumes four times as much ammo. Double spray distance, but consumes two times as much as ammo. Double sprays radius. Okay, ready? Here we go. We're just going to we're just gonna put these on. Cause complete chaos to our world. It's all good. It's worth it for the memes. Am I right? How? Oh, it's not even going that far. Well, thank God that it's not going that far, even though I, you know, put on a bunch of accessories that makes it go that far. Maybe, maybe it's the solution itself that's stopping it. I don't know. Because usually when I put on all these uh, contaminator accessories, things get destructive really fast. But it's all good. It's all good. Maybe it's just a sign that I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> but yeah. I think that's going to be it for this video. There's not much else I could do here in terms of a uh, content with this because it's just paint. You just paint some stuff. That's it. And, you know, we're painting in a mass decorative style, you know, with a lot more firepower than you usually have when you paint because you usually don't have any firepower when you paint, if we're being honest here. But yeah, it's a really cool mod, really cool fuck around mod. Honestly, probably a mod you can have in your mod pack if you ever need to paint something. You know what I'm saying? Because you could just get like regular paint. Say if I want to paint a whole biome orange or something, boom, get that, get a contaminator and then just paint it orange. Look at that. Nice and simple, right? A lot of people were asking, like, gamers, what was that biome you were in during the uh, Turkor and Lepis video? It was just an orange painted biome. Nothing else to it. <laughs> but yeah, it's really, really cool because a lot of the time I do like decorating my biomes. You know, make them stand out a little bit more. Make them have a theme or something. And this mod definitely probably is going to help out a lot. So I might just keep it installed in all my future mod packs if I ever need to use them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for almost 53K. We're at like 52.5 or 52.6. The face cam video will be out on wednesday or thursday around one of those days like i said there's some stuff i gotta do before the face cam video because i don't even own a face cam but uh well, i'll figure out something all right i love you
love you guys no homo full homo you know what it is hey follow my twitch twitch.tv slash gamers 101 because i might be streaming later thank you Han desert fox yeah. what the fuck is going on up here oh my god bro <laughs> i can't hear what is this fucking mod pack i'm using 